Welcome guys to this tutorial series where we are doing this animated human with the simulated clothes. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can make this hair look like actual hair. I will also show you an alternative way where we use a blender add-on to add a hairstyle in a matter of a few button clicks. Let's start by fixing the hair we imported from the studio. Right now the hair is actually a mesh but it's an infinitely thin mesh so if we zoom in here it looks more like curves. So we will have to convert these to curves and then create a thickness and then convert it back to mesh for it to look like actual hair. This can be a little bit heavy for your computer, but click the hair here, then object, convert, and then you choose curve. And now it's converted, which you can see on the icon here. So let's go to the curve options here, and then we will set a depth here to give it some geometry. So we can put 0 0.03, but it really looks wide in the end of the hairs. So what we can do is to modify the radius of the hair so they get thinner further out. So tab into edit mode and then you go to select and choose this one, select last. And now in the item here we can transform the curve so we can have a mean radius that is decreasing further out on these curves. So what we did now was to select like the last point of the curves, which is the one that is furthest out here on each hair. So if we set the radius to zero and then we invert, which we do with control I. Now we select everything except for the last point and then we can set a mean radius to uh, 0 0.1. And then we will decrease this selection, press control and minus. And then it removes one of the points of each hair and we will set the mean radius to 0 0.2. So now the radius will gradually increase the further into the hairs we come. So we can do it again, control minus and mean radius 0 0.3, control minus 0 0.4. And now we can do bigger steps, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and the rest can be one. So now if we tab out from edit mode, we see that in the end of the hairs, it's very thin and the further in we come, the thicker the hair gets. And then on top of that, we want to hide this uh, hair cap. So what we can do is to go to this tab here and uh, visibility and we hide it from the camera. And we will also take away the diffuse glossy and everything else here. So now we only have the hairs. Let's create a simple shader for the hair as well. So click the hair and press the shading tab. And now we can create a new material, press new and name it to hair. And then we can remove the principal BSDF and instead we add a noise texture and plug the factor into the surface. We can add a color ramp in between those two and pull the levers close to the center here, somewhere here. So we see the contrast between the black and the white and we can set the scale to 10. Now press the noise texture and then press Control T and this adds a texture coordinate node and a mapping node and this only works if you have the node wrangler activated. So go to edit preferences and type node wrangler up here and make sure that your node wrangler is activated. By default Blender uses the generated as texture coordinate input here but we will switch this one to normal and now you see what happens. The hair gets this kind of variation according to the normals of the hairs, which looks more realistic. So now you can choose whichever color you want on your hair. We can take the black and pull it to a very dark brown somewhere here. And then we can make the white a slightly brighter brown. And then we will add a hair BSDF. Type hair and plug it in here. So now the color goes into the color and we have this hair with some variation inside. If you found this process a bit complicated to move the hair from Dust Studio into Blender and modify it by yourself, there is a quicker way to add some hair in Blender and uh, I can show you this. It requires a plugin. This plugin is called 3D Hairbrush and they have a free viewer version which allows you to have four different hairstyles and you cannot edit them and then there is a full version with a whole bunch of hairstyles that you can edit yourself so i will go for the free version here and once you have downloaded that one you go to edit preferences and add-ons and then you can click this button and install it from the disk so you install the zip file and then you find it here 3d hair brush viewer and you activate this plugin now when we have installed the add-on, it's placed on the right side here in the tab bar. So press N to reach it and it's called 3D Hairbrush here. 
And then we have the menu with all the hairstyles. And as I said, we only have four hairstyles in the free version, but let's hide it for now uh, because we need to temporarily hide the hair that we already created. So that one is not in the way of our process. So press H and then also hide the hair cap like this. And now we select the mesh Genesis 9 shape because this is the one that we're going to attach the hair to. And now we can load the hair preset. So choose your hairstyle here and then press load preset and the bind target can be active. And now the hair ends up here. Since it has a lot of particles, it will be quite uh, heavy to move. So let's turn off the particles here in the modifier tab. Then we will just move it. And we will try to position it as close as possible to the head. And we may have to scale it a bit. So press S to scale. And now you see that it's scaling from an origin that is further down. So we can actually reposition the origin, which we do by pressing object, set origin to geometry. Now you can scale the hair cap until it's just above the surface of the head. And if you want to do more subtle changes, you can go into edit mode and do these adjustments to the mesh. And then we can shrink wrap it to the target. And our target is the body here. And we press this button, shrink wrap to target. And now you see that it snaps to the skin here. And it looks good all around here, but it's a bit high above the ears. So let's try to move the mesh around the ears slightly down. So I will use the proportional editing tool and press G and Z to move it down. Something like this. And then we wish that the shrink wrap solves the rest. And I think it did. So let's turn on the hair again. So now the human is ready. And the only thing we have left to do before we start animating this guy is to give him some shoes. In the next tutorial, we're gonna add some shoes to the character. And we're gonna do that before we are animating it. If you did the sneaker tutorial, I've also made a video on how you can clean up your shoes before you use them for the animation. The link to that is in the description. Otherwise, you can put your own shoes or download the ones that I've prepared. The free shoes can be found among the other free resources by following the link in the video description. Like, subscribe and share this tutorial with your friends. See you in the next video.